What is the first thing that will happen on Judgment Day? The trumpet. The blowing of the trumpet is mentioned 10 times in the Quran. Surah Al-An'am 73, which is the first time that Nafkh Surah is mentioned in the Quran. Allah says, To him shall be the kingdom, to him shall be the power, the day that the trumpet will be blown. So the one who controls that day day controls every day before and after. So what is a sur? Two opinions. Imam Al-Tabari mentions them in his famous tafsir. He says that the first opinion is that a sur is a trumpet. In our times, we create trumpets with metal and whatnot. In those days, they would use horns of the animals. The ram's horn was very common. And they would choose the right horn and make the right hole in it. And so that would be the asur. And this is the majority position. And there is another opinion as well. And At-Tabari ascribes this to Ibn Abbas. And this opinion is that asur is the plural of surah. And surah means image of a man. So, وَيَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي sur. The day that the souls will be rebreathed into the bodies of men and women. However, this second opinion has essentially been discarded after that era, and no major scholar, to the best of my knowledge, has ever held this opinion. And that is because both the Quran and Sunnah seem to be very explicit that the sword is an actual trumpet. Explicit, a hadith. Most famous amongst them is Sunan at Tirmidhi, hadith number 3244. Abdullah ibn Amr ibn al As said that once. A Bedouin came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he said, O Messenger of Allah, what is the sur? He said, it is a horn. So it is an actual horn that will be blown into. In Sahih Muslim, we learn that the Prophet ﷺ said that the trumpet will be blown. And everyone who hears the trumpet, they will turn their head to the direction of the sound in an attempt to listen to the trumpet. And the first person to hear it will be a man who is busy preparing water to feed his camel. And he will fall dead on top of that water and all the people will fall dead after him. And this is referenced in the Quran. وَمَا أَمْرُ السَّاعَةِ إِلَّا كَلَمْحِ الْبَصَرِ The day of judgment is like the twinkling of an eye. It's going to come suddenly. The trumpet will not be heard by any Muslim. No Muslim will be on earth to hear the trumpet. So the trumpet will be blown upon a group of people who don't believe in it. And that's why they're not expecting it. Who is in charge of this trumpet? We know from authentic hadith that the trumpet has been assigned to one special angel. And this is in a hadith in Tirmidhi. Abu Sa'id al-Khudri said one day the Prophet came in a disturbed state. He was perturbed. And he said, how can I relax? How can I be calm? When the one who has been assigned the trumpet has put it to his lips and his ears are waiting, he's paying attention and his forehead is looking in the direction waiting for the command to come. They said, O Messenger of Allah, what should we do? He said, Say, Hasbun Allahu wa ni'mal wakil. And in another hadith reported by Muslim Imam Ahmad, it is mentioned the Prophet ﷺ said that the Sahib al Sur, the companion of the trumpet, again, no name is mentioned. To his right is Jibreel and to his left is Mikael. Now, interestingly enough, the name Israfil being associated with the trumpet is something that is not found in the Quran or in any of the authentic hadith. Ibn Hajar said, note, it is something that is very commonly known that the Sahib al-Sur is Israfil. And some of our scholars like Al-Hulaymi said there is ijma on this point. Imam Al-Qurtubi said, our ulama say, all of the nations, not just Muslims, have agreed that the one who blows the trumpet is Israfil. In one hadith in Musadrak of Al-Hakim, our Prophet said that since Allah Azza wa Jal assigned him the job, Israfil has not blinked out of fear that if he blinks, the command will be given. And because of this, he said, Israfil's eyes are glazed like pearls, like diamonds. They're glazed. They are just completely now numbed over because he has never blinked since Allah assigned him this. How many times will the trumpet be blown? Everybody agrees that the trumpet will be blown more than once because it's in the Quran. Surah Al-Zumur 68 is the most explicit example. وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ The trumpet will be blown. فَصَعِقَ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَمَنْ فِي الْأَرْضِ All who are in the heavens and earth will fall down unconscious. إِلَّا مَنْ شَاءَ اللَّهِ Except those whom Allah has willed will not fall unconscious. There will be some people 
Allah has chosen, they will not fall unconscious. Then Allah says, ثُمَّ نُفِخَ فِيهِ أُخْرَى Then it shall be blown again. Ukhra here means a second time. فَإِذَا هُمْ قِيَامٌ يَنْظُرُونَ They will all be standing up looking what is going on. So it's very clear therefore that there's going to be more than one. How many more than one? Here is where we find two opinions. The first opinion we'll mention is that three times the trumpet will be blown. And the second opinion, two times. Most likely only two times, right? In Abu Dawood, the Prophet ﷺ said, On the day of Jumu'ah shall be the Sa'iqah. And on the day of Jumu'ah shall be the Nafqah. And Sa'iqah, the one that shall cause you to go unconscious. Nafqa, they're going to be standing up. So we know that Qiyamah will come on what day then? Friday. And the resurrection will also be on Friday. 